should have known. If I can get close enough to that pick now, I'm gonna go for it. Oh shit. Get up. He looks like he's afraid. Never mind. I think maybe he knows I'm here. Maybe not. Hey guys, welcome to Crawl on Chain for some more Path of Titans. Today's video will include six encounters that I've recently had while playing my Aloe in Panjura. By the way guys, I just have to say, for those of you who think that Panjura is dead nowadays, let me tell you, it is not dead at all. Every time I go there, I end up on a server with 80 other players, sometimes more. One thing I did notice about Panjura, however, is that everything is out to get you. Every dinosaur big enough to kill me that I came across just charged me on site without hesitation. Friendly encounters are pretty much not a thing anymore in Panjura. I've had encounters which I did not include in this video, but they will be featured in a future video, and they are some of those just absolutely free, unprovoked brutality type of encounters. Now, I am not mentioning this as a complaint, however, because as a YouTuber, such a hostile environment makes it easier for me to get content for my videos, and besides, I love the PvP. I'm mentioning this because after having experienced the brutal environment that is now Panjura, I decided to adapt to it and simply adopt this kill or be killed mindset. I completely turned off the honor switch and became the monster that I needed to become to survive in Panjura. Now some of you guys seem to enjoy it when I break down my fights and discuss the things that I learned from fight to fight so that's what I'm gonna do here. I will first show the fight and then I'll replay parts of it and talk about whatever relevant information that comes to mind. If that sounds good for everybody, let's go. I heard something, but I have no idea what. Oh, I see it now. I saw it. I don't see it anymore. Okay, it's coming here. Ah, what is it? I can't tell what this is. It looks big. It's a Suko. Should have known. can survive this so first thing i want to say here is don't worry guys this is the only time i die in the video <laughs> 
Now, the important points I want to mention here is that I was not a full adult in this fight, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that my height ability only applies if I'm a full adult. On this aloe, my height ability is Tough Scoots, which gives me an armor bonus, so this would have certainly helped in this fight. That being said, even without Tough Scoots, look at how little damage I was taking while he was chasing me in the beginning. The Raptor was dealing more damage to me than the Suko because the Suko was biting my tail. But look at the damage I'm dealing to the Suko with my tail. I know it's not crazy damage, but it's enough that if the Raptor wasn't there and I could have kept doing this longer, I might have been able to slowly grind him down to where I might have been able to turn around and finish him off. Now because I made the mistake of going face to face with it and taking way too much damage, I tried running away but the raptor made it impossible for me to rest and regain my stam. So here's what I've learned here. In a pure 1v1, I think I could have been a match to the Suko if I play my cards right. Even more so if I'm an adult. I also firmly believe that I could have survived this encounter if the raptor wasn't there because I could have rested and regained my stamina and it seems like i had more stamina than the suko thanks to my long distance runner ability now let's go to encounter number two
believe that. He was not going to quit that one. I was happy to have the long distance runner ability right now. Now I think the threat is gone. They gave up. Now here, the first thing I want to mention is if those strikes weren't there, that Aquilo to pounce me would have 100% died. He made the mistake of remaining latched onto me even in deep water, so I started shaking him off in the water. That made him spend a lot of stamina, so he let go in the water. I was about to go wait for him on land and get him as soon as he got out of the water, but the trikes came and made this impossible. If I had stayed, those trikes would have gone through me like butter, so I just had to run. The black trike didn't chase too far, but the white one just kept coming at me for a very long time. There isn't too much to say here except that if you keep a good distance from a trike as an aloe, they don't have the stem to keep up with you. Just keep calm, maintain distance, sprint when you can afford to spend some stamina, and find places to hide to regain that stem when you're far enough away from them. You're almost guaranteed to survive unless they're teamed up with a smaller and faster dinosaur that can prevent you from resting, like the raptor did to me in the first encounter. Now let's go to the next one. Pignol right there and a raptor. Looks like you might be thinking about it. I think, I think they're thinking about it. faster than me. All I really want to point out here is that in a face tank battle between a defense aloe and a pickno, the aloe wins every single time. The aloe is just tougher and I also believe its bite does more damage. So if the pickno is offering me an opportunity to trade with them, I'll take that trade all day every day. What the pickno should have done is come in with a charge, then keep his distance and maybe tail slap until the charge becomes available again. Rinse and repeat until the aloe is damaged enough that the Pikno can come in for the kill. I personally have never played the Pikno, but I've seen many of them use this tactic with a lot of success before, and that's what I intend to do when I get a chance to play the Pikno. I have a feeling I'm gonna be pretty deadly with it. <laughs> I just feel it. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. I think if I can get close enough to that pick now, I'm gonna go for it. Might already be fighting something. Or he fell from too high and he hurt himself. Yeah, he probably jumped down there. He's right here. He hurt himself again.
What is blocking me right now? Shit. Get up. <laughs> the dash ball already quit. I don't know what that Das was trying to do. He came straight for me, but he wasn't biting or anything. He wasn't doing anything. There's a trophy on him. He's old enough to have a trophy. How did I win so easily? All right, so here, as far as my own performance is concerned, I wouldn't change a thing. I very much feel like I did everything right based on the way they were behaving. But there are still a few things I can highlight about the fight. For those who have less experience in PvP, these tips could definitely help. When a Daspor Rex are charging a bone break coming at you, give them your tail and have them bite your tail. The bone break will not work. That's what I did both times here, but uh, I mean, I know his second attempt was a complete fail. He released it way too soon. Still, I do it every time someone is coming at me with a charged attack and it works beautifully. Now, let's talk about what they should have done differently. Nader of them can face tank. So trying to face tank a defense aloe is just suicide with both of those dinosaurs. The DASP was not even a defense DASP. He was way too skinny. And the DASP's bite can't be spammed anymore either. So DASP just can't face tank anything anymore. What they should have done is one of them distracts me while the other one attacks from behind or from the side. The Pycno should have used his charge on me every time I turned away from him, but then move away and keep his distance while waiting for the cooldown. The Dash should have come at me with a bite and then moved away as soon as I try to bite him back. Compared to them, I'm like a boulder. I'm tough, but I'm slow. They should have just chipped away at me like a couple of chisels. This 2v1 matchup was a fair fight but it's clear to me that both of them were inexperienced and didn't really know how to use their dinosaurs oh and i mean i just gotta see this again look at this flawless maneuvering mm, so good <laughs> okay let's move on to the next one i just heard a rex like right here right beside me It's crazy. I heard it like it was right next to me. Might be up here somewhere. I knew I heard a Rex. He looks like he's afraid. Never mind. Maybe he's not afraid. Kind of caught me by surprise.
really? He went swimming? All right, I'm just going to stop this fight here. There's no point in showing the rest of it. This encounter was just very, very awkward. The Rex stood in the water for what felt like a very long time, and it was just, like, boring. Neither, neither of us died anyways. The part I wanted to show is how I managed to survive this. After he bone broke me, I was sure I was dead. I was taking some serious damage, and when he hit me with the second one, I thought, okay, he knows what he's doing. He won't let it wear out. So that's when I thought to sort of cuddle with him and give him my tail as you see here. Look at the damage I'm getting on my tail compared to how much I was getting when he was biting my body. This would have also prevented another bone break because he could only bite my tail from this position. So yeah, his first bone break got me by surprise for sure. I was actually thinking about just leaving. If I wanted him dead from the start, I would have killed him while he was laying down. But once he got me with the bone break, I did the only thing that I thought might save me, and it did. I'm very happy with this narrow escape, and I thought that showing this to all of you would for sure help some of you improve your PvP. Now let's move on to the next one. Oh, it's a croc. Ugh. I can't hunt a croc unless he goes on land. If he does go on land, though, I'm going to be very, very tempted. Pretty sure from here he can see me. It's not a good hiding spot. He's out of the water. Maybe he knows I'm here. Maybe not. I just hunted a croc. That is awesome. I hope nothing shows up. Nope. Nothing showed up. Now, just to clarify, this whole ambush on a Sarko involved about 15 minutes of waiting behind that rock. But I cut most of it out in the edit. Not gonna lie to you guys, when I'm setting up an ambush, sometimes it's a lot longer than that. But a lot of times, my patience ends up paying off. And I'm gonna share a little secret with you guys right now. When I know I'm gonna have to wait for a long time, I usually just pull out my phone and watch some videos while I wait for my prey to walk by. <laughs> 
Now, what I think happened here is that croc might have known I was there since I stepped on rocks and made noise, but because I was trying to sneak and hide, it probably thought I was scared of it. I mean, either that or the player was not using headphones and their audio was just not good enough for them to hear me. Either way, I think it's fair to assume that this player did not expect me to come up behind them like that. Sarcos are used to be the ambush predator and I honestly haven't seen many aloes ambush a sarco on their own like I did there. When I attacked it, you could tell that caught it by surprise. Plus, I was all over the place, just scratching it from all directions, which once again probably threw it off its game. I honestly didn't know if I was going to be able to face tank it, so when I went in, I had no idea what to expect. Let's just say I was happy to be a defense allo with tough scoots on. I was dealing a lot of damage to it, but I wasn't taking nearly as much as I had imagined. Now for the final blow. When I saw it start charging up its big bite, my thought process was, the sooner I go in, the less damage I'm going to take. I knew there was a chance I might take some damage there, but I knew I could take it. It didn't have its ambush ability on since it was already in combat, and as I already mentioned, if I go in before the bite is fully charged, I only take a small percentage of it. Turns out it didn't even get a chance to release it. I have to say that Pandora is not a very friendly place for a Sarko right now. Back in the day when Sarkos were tanks, it was fine. But now that they're redesigned to be purely ambush predators, anytime they have to travel on land, they're at risk. I think that the Sarko's only chance would have been to try and just run straight back to the water. Maybe it would have made it, maybe not, but it would have been worth a try. I mean, or maybe a thought, there's no way an aloe can take me out. Anyways. That's going to be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your thoughts in the comments. All feedback is welcome. You guys take care and I will see you all soon. Bye bye.